Uh, we're joined today by the CEO of Lake Resources, Steve Prominence. Steve, thanks for your time. Um, now, you've Lake announced today uh, it's expanding its drill testing at your flagship Karchi Lithium Brine project. Uh, markets normally don't get too excited about drill testing. What's the significance of this uh, new announcement? The key takeaway is apart from moving resource into reserves for our definitive feasibility study to get it financed, the key takeaway is actually moving more of the resources into a higher category, what we call measured and indicated, and then that can support an expansion. So we're scheduled to produce 25,000 tonnes per annum in 2024. If we could double that, not only would be one of the top five producers, but we'd be the only one producing a consistent high quality product and doing that with an ESG benefit. And that's what the EV makers are demanding. And, and Steve, with your lithium, it's all about quality rather than quantity? Absolutely. Battery makers are demanding higher quality products across the board. And the reason for that is battery technologies have improved so much in the last five years. Now they need a high quality product going into it. And Lake with its technology partner are one of the only uh, companies that can be able to produce that in the near term where we can produce a consistent high quality product. And if you don't do that, then that product will still be used. It just has to be reprocessed. And so you're handing that margin to someone, someone else. That's, that's the key takeaway together with the ESG benefits. Steve, and, and what does your testing indicate in regards to the purity of your lithium? Your testing has shown that the lithium chloride we produce using direct lithium extraction out of the catchy brines, we put it through a very simple process to convert that into lithium carbonate, very high purity, 99.97% purity. And what that means is extremely low impurities. That's what the battery makers want. Furthermore, we've shown that that works very well in the standard 6.2G battery. March this year, Novonix demonstrated this works as well, if not better than other tier one products. So on the back of that, we've got the confidence to take it forward into financing and production. Now, Steve, you produce a high quality product in terms of purity, and you do that through a direct lithium extraction technology in terms of the process. Are there any concerns around that process? We seem to have lots of questions on it. <clears throat> Thanks. So we regularly get questions on it as well. Uh, so if I could just share with the viewers basically this. Our technology partner is using a very conventional method of water processing called iron exchange. Been widely used for 70 years. This is really bog standard technology. The bit that lithium, uh, that lilac does that's different is that they've produced a bead that takes the lithium out of the water. And that's why we produce a high quality product. Now, I completely understand, oh my goodness, a new process. That, that's perfectly understandable. All we do is we replace those evaporation ponds using the direct lithium extraction process of iron exchange. Widely used, that's really conventional technology, just new for lithium. Everything else in the flow sheet is absolutely standard. And uh, that's why we're pretty, uh, we're pretty stoked. Simple technology, single step, done more efficiently and, uh, and done quickly. Steve, your catchy uh, lithium project is positioned in Argentina. And there's recently been an, a number of lithium related announcements from that country. Can you talk to what's happening down there at the moment? Uh, Argentina's been in the news for all the right reasons. Uh, it's in the heart of the lithium triangle and there's big lithium projects that are scalable. That's what's great about it. And so the recent news has been the uh, project just up the road from our country project, Livevent, have uh, signed up BMW as their offtake partner. And then we've had Geng Fung, who are developing the Kalchari project. They've come out saying that they're looking to put a plant for lithium ion batteries in Argentina. And the Galaxy Oracobre merger was announced and uh, most of their assets are also in Argentina. Uh, and it's been good because the conversations we've had to date with the debt providers, export credit agencies, they're favorably predisposed to fund this sector and in Argentina. So uh, we need Argentina to step up to the plate uh, because that's where the big projects are. And that seems to be the way the winds are blowing. So that's all pretty positive. Now, moving forward, Steve, what, what can investors expect from Lake? So the following, uh, first of all, on the back of the drilling, you would expect more drilling announcements and then that supports an expansion case. Secondly, there'll probably be an announcement about a much closer union between ourselves and our technology partner. Uh, third, it would reasonably expect somewhere in the next six months an announcement about at least one of our offtake agreements. 
these are taking a little while. They are, are quite um, uh, commercially sensitive, uh, but um, as time goes by, we're getting more and more calls about uh, getting this product in the supply chain. Uh, then um, the demonstration plant coming to site, demonstrating networks, and more announcements about the debt funding uh, of this project, uh, which in particular is around 400 of the 540 million, uh, and that's, uh, that's pretty uh, compelling. And then through that, then we'll move into the full financing uh, and, uh, and definitive feasibility study uh, results in about nine months time. So it's, uh, there's a lot coming down the pipe and uh, there might be a few more surprises about what we're doing on our other projects. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Steve. Always good to talk.